today we're going to take a look at a few um, glitter type markers. We're going to take a look at American Crafts glitter markers and I found these at um, Tuesday morning so I'm not really sure where you can buy these normally. Um, we're also going to take a look at Copic at Uspica or Spica, Zig Wink of Stella, the little um, like fine liners, a bunch of fantastic Sakura of America gel pens, as well as some Wink of Stella brush pins and a Wink of Luna. And um, I use these fairly often. I won't say all the time, but they definitely do pop up in my studio. Um, and the reason I haven't really done a review of them or demonstrated them for you guys is just, I don't know, I, I mean to and I don't. So I'm going to start with the, you know, I'm going to save these for last because I want to compare them to the other markers. So we're going to start with the At You Speak Up markers. I've had these for a fairly long time. They are fine point. And they're not really um, markers so much as they are like fine liners. As you can see, these have um, sort of a, they're not really like fine liners in the normal sense. They're like, it's hard to explain. Kind of like felt tips. And it's hard to see. These have, um, at least the black has a more subtle glitter in it. And these are good for adding accents to marker illustrations, to watercolor illustrations. Gold is a bit brassy. I think I used the clear, yeah, I used the clear glitter the most. Let me see if I can get that to shine for y'all. Not really. Anyway, they have, um, there's sort of an understated glitteriness to them. And I bought the set that comes in a plastic pouch and they've lived in that plastic pouch forever. Now we're gonna take a look at the fine tipped Zig Wink of Stella. I haven't tried these out, not these out before. These have the same sort of tip as the Spica. The clear has about as much glitter as the Spica. I think I got these at like Joann's. That's the gray. The gray has a little more glitter than the Spica markers do. So if you're really looking for glitz, I recommend you get the Wink of Stella over the Spica markers. Now here are the brush Wink of Stella. I have clear, I have silver, and I have gold black. I, I think it's, um... So this is clear. And as you can see, there is a brush tip to it. And this is good for adding a larger amount of water. I mean, of glitter to, or glitter to a large area. Here's the silver and you can squeeze the barrel to get more out. And here's the black. Now, Wink of Luna is more of a metallic. So you're going to get um, just an overall shimmer and sheen rather than um, pieces of glitter. And it's also a brush marker. Now we have a lot of, hmm. oh, okay, I see now. All right, we have a lot of Sakura of America's glittery pens. And some of these I purchased myself and some of them were can sent care of from Sakura of America. So thank you guys very much for your generosity. So I'm gonna start with some of the ones I purchased. The metallic ones, these are definitely a gel pin. So they have a little ball in there and if you're doing it over watercolor, it can clog up. So these are really good over over um, like markers rather than watercolors. 
and both of these have a metallic sheen to them. I actually have somewhere, now I can't find them. I have some of the like clear glitter ones as well, which are really cool and I really like those, but I can't find them off the top of my head or off the top of my desk, I guess. This is a glaze and I'm going to apply some black ink to the page. And this is a Copic uh, multi-liner, the brush marker. And when that dries, I'll go ahead and go over it. This is a Jelly Roll Gold, and these are neat in that they put down opaque, opaque color, but there's like a lot of gold in it. So it's hard to see, but these are really cool in person. And I also have a teal gold, which is also really cool. So, the ink is dried. Now the thing about the glaze, this is a pearl glaze, is it doesn't look like it's gonna go down opaque. It looks like you didn't put enough down and then it dries very, very opaque. At least when I was using it for my art snacks, it was drying almost too opaque. So while that dries, I'm going to show you guys some of the Jelly Roll Stardust and you can see it has like a little comment on it. And these have a shimmer to them as well. So instead of metallic, these have a fair amount of glitter in them. And like I was just telling you guys, they do make a clear glitter marker. I I know I have because they sent them to me and then I went and bought my own but because I liked it so much um, I can't find them but these are really pretty too and if you do like commission work or card making anything where someone is gonna have an original to hold in their hands that's when these sort of metallics are really fun you see how the glaze dried much more opaque and that has a little bit of a pearl shimmer in it. So card making, stamping, crafting, commissions, making stuff for yourself, anything where someone's gonna hold an original in their hands, any of these are really great for. My recommendations are the soccer or jelly anything, any of the jelly roll pins are all really cool. I don't use the white jelly roll for my corrections, I actually use a white signal. But other than that, I really, really like their jelly roll products. I really like how much glitz they have in them. I really like the neat color effects they have. Um, they're really fun to play with. Um, next, I really like the Wink Estellas, especially for applying a larger area of um, glitter and glam. And I forgot we still have these. So let's take a look at the American Craft Markers. And these are a broad tip. Ooh, wow, that is a broad tip. My goodness, that is about as broad. In fact, these have the same body as the Recollections markers, which you can get through Michaels, and these are opaque. These are kind of cool. So, this is the American Crafts glitter marker, and it puts down a pretty broad swath of glitter, but it's not a uniform swath. So these are really markers, whereas some of these other ones are pens, the American Crafts glitter markers are really markers. Um, and the best way to test this sort of stuff is on, oh, gross, look. Let me see if I can show you guys. Like the nibs shredding. And these were, y'all saw me open that package. These are brand new. So that is not cool. There isn't really a uniform amount of glitter that these seem to put down either. And the gray is almost, the gray and the black are almost the same color. So there's not a lot of color variation in this set. So overall, for applying, um, I, I personally think the Sakura of America gel pins have a whole lot of glitter. I really like the color effects. I think 
They are a little more versatile and more glittery than the other markers, other pens that I've tested. But I also really like the Wink of Stella brushes by Kuratake Zig. Next, I really like the Wink of Stella fine liners by Kuratake Zig. And these are 0.8 millimeters in case you're worrying. worrying wondering. Finally, the Spica markers are, are the Spica pens are very interesting. They're well designed, but they really just don't put down a whole lot of glitter. So they're very, very subtle. They do have color numbers and um, this is 22 Garnet, for example. And they come in a really wide range of colors, probably not quite as wide as jelly rolls, which come in like a massive amount of colors. And you can find jelly rolls. Like I got, let's see, I got these and the glaze at David Art Supply in New Orleans. So I got these at an art store. I got these at Michael's. Um, you can find jelly rolls very easily. I think you can get them at office supply stores too. So you don't, you're not forced to get them over the internet. You can kind of check them out a little bit more in person. And you can also test some of them out in the store before you commit. It also means, you know, you're getting a working one. So of all of the sparkly glittery markers, I recommend Sakura's. They are my current favorites. Um, let's do a water fast test. I'll be right back. So I'm going to complete this water fastness test. This is watercolor paper with this Sakura of America Koi water brush. This is their large brush. This was also sent to me care of Sakura of America. Again, thank you guys so much. We'll get it started. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm just generously applying lots and lots of water. Some of these are more water resistant after they've had a chance to dry. I do know that the glaze doesn't go anywhere when you add water. And I also know, yeah, there we go. You can get the wink of Luna. I actually did a, um, a really neat little watercolor-esque wash with the Wink of Luna. I got it in my, um, one of my art snacks, early art snacks boxes, I wanna say December. No, I'm sorry, January. Um, you can check out that video right here. Whoa, look at that. I like how the gold all activates in the, um, the glazes, but I mean, the green's activating a little bit now that I'm really working at it, but the gold is more, more likely to move. Same goes for the glitter. So the color stays in place. The glitter moves with, let's see, with the American Crafts. All right, so all of those are moderately water resistant. There is some movement with the glitter, which means you can kind of blend the glitter out. Let's grab an alcohol marker. This is clear. It's actually a blick, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and let's do the same run of tests. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but Signo also makes, they make silver and gold to my knowledge, and their gold is a little bit nicer than the Spica gold. All right. So, so many. Let's let's start with the Copic. And these are intended to be used at the end of a piece. Ooh, my gold might be running out. Let's actually let's swatch it and then let's see. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to be going too too far. Um, these are really intended to be used as like finishing touches, but you know, you might decide there, see garnet moves a little bit. You might want to try to blend it out or blend, especially these colored ones, you know. All right, let's move on 
to the wink of Stella pins. See, with an immediate application of alcohol marker, it moves the glitter a little bit, but not a whole lot. Let's try a wink of Stella brush pen. That's gonna take a minute to dry. You can also get the Wink of Stella brush pins at stores like Michael's. They are a little expensive though. All right, we have so many of these jelly rolls. Let's try one of each. So we'll do the black metallic, which is a really nice gunmetal gray. Ooh, that, if you do it immediately, let's, let's reapply and um, let it dry and we'll see. Because I think both of them have valid uses. Um, this allows you to sort of blend out the color if it's too intense. All right, this is the teal with the gold in it. Okay, so with the Sakura of America gel pins, um, even if you let the ink slash gel dry, you're still gonna get a lot of movement. So. Um, the only, none of these really seem alcohol marker proof. It does seem to reactivate. Oh, I didn't try the American Crafts. Sure. Kind of meh in my opinion. These are like something aimed at kids. Okay, so these don't go anywhere. And that's because these are probably water-based markers. Acid-free, non-toxic, doesn't actually affect but I'm guessing they're water-based markers. So I hoped, I hoped, I hope my little mini review, mini demonstration helped you guys. I hope it introduced you guys to some cool new, cool new products, some neat techniques. Um, I hope it inspired you. I hope it enlightened you. So uh, you feel empowered to go and try something new today. Try out a new product maybe. Try adding a little glimmer and glitz to your, your projects. I'm Becca Hilburn from Natto Soup Studios. Um, if you like this video, please remember to hit like. If you have any questions, remember, just ask me in the comments. I'll get to it at some point, hopefully. Um, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do overviews, reviews, tutorials all the time. Lots for you to check out. If you can't get enough of me, you can check me out on my blog at natosoup.blogspot.com. And if you love, love, love my work, there's a couple ways you can help. One, you can share this video to your social networks, to your Tumblr, to your Twitter, to your blog, and help spread the word. That would help me out a lot, especially because I'm trying to build my audience. The second way you can help is financially, and you can find out information on how to do that through my Patreon at patreon.com slash So I'll see you guys around. I hope you have a good day. Bye.